All right, y'all. We're talking about a serious thing today. Nope. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Talk about it. Okay. Okay. okay, we are talking today about leukemia. Wedgie. Oh. 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 I'd rather huh? Wedgies. Wedgies. Oh. Have you guys experienced a wedgie? Dude. Never. Never. Every type. Every Wait. type. Have you experienced the atomic wedgie? What's an atomic? Is that when it goes over your head? It is. How do you know that? Just a Did somebody do that to you? Nah, dude. No one's ever put a done a wedgie. Wait, you've never received a wedgie your whole life. Dude. Is this a setup? Do you guys you should right now. get one. Yeah. Hey, come here, Nick. If you guys can try, can we, can we just do it? Can you let us do it just so you can be the happy? Dude, family? I have hemorrhoids, bro. You're gonna tear me. Not after this. <laughs> You're telling me it's gonna fix my hemorrhoids? No, it'll just push it'll it back in. <laughs> dude, hey, I think you should try. It. No, dude. You dude. think why? You think it's Ryan's always made of good ideas. No, I think I you should try. It's hard to move on the conversation knowing you've never experienced. Ooh, it. As can Nick, come to this side of the room. Yeah, dude. You're not gonna put a wedgie. We've all done it. We'll go there. We'll go there. Even I. You're not gonna put a wedgie on me. You're not gonna put a wedgie on me. You're not gonna put a wedgie. I'm not gonna like to see you try, dude. Wait, face backwards. Face backwards. Just turn up. You listen. Well, dick. Nah, dude, I'm not gonna do a wedgie. Why don't you guys clearly do a wedgie? Are you, are you wearing like a I've weird underwear? Huh? <laughs> are, you, are you commando? He's what? Dude? I know, right? Oh, that's yes. what he is. Are you wearing he has like Tiff's thong on? Cause oh, laundry day. Are you wearing kinky underwear? Is that why? Nah, dude. Is it lacy? Would I say it's edible? I think yeah. I saw a little bit. <laughs> but it's not weird. Well, uh, just imagine what it's like, and you're probably right. It's. <laughs> I'd imagine it would hurt your, your balls a little bit. Yeah. Maybe as an adult. Why are you looking at me for confirmation? Nick's wearing candy you, well, underwear. When's the last time? When's the last time you've been wedged, Anthony Lee? Don't deflect. That's not deflecting. It's a question. Well, we're talking <laughs> about your atomic wedgie. Huh? You deflected my other question. How do you know what an atomic wedgie is? I just, I honestly just guessed. I just figured I've seen people do it over their head, and I was like, that seems pretty bad. Seems pretty. That atomic. seems like, yeah, it seems yeah. like it's the worst case scenario for We've a wedgie. We tried to do that. It's really difficult without the underwear ripping. You need some stretchy underwears. Yeah. You made it rip. Dude, yeah, all the time. Damn. We had a, we, in, our, in my first B-Work crew, that was like a tradition that if you like, actually no reason, we would just grab this one dude and just wedgie him to the point where his underwear always broke. Is he still a part of the crew? Yeah. That's called bullying. Yeah, he's a, he's a doctor now. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> He's like, dude, we, we had this tradition actually just to one guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where everybody would do it to him. He's, he's, a, he's a doctor of chiropractic now. No way. Oh, damn. Great guy, great dude. Lots of underwear of his got ruined. Is his wow. is his spine all jacked up from the fucking wedgies? Did no. he stop wearing tidy whities <laughs> <laughs> He never had tidy whities He had those nasty gray. It dirty always works things. the best with tidy whities Especially if there's a streak on it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing to get wedgied and you have dirty underwear. It oh, is. It no. is. Here, Wait, why are we talking about wedgies? Because on December twenty first, two thousand thirteen, Marine Corps veteran Brad Lee Davis. That's a cool name. Huh? Gave his stepfather, stop, uh, stepfather, 58 year old Denver Lee St. Clair, an atomic wedgie. And he killed him. I <gasps> killed him. You what? What? He killed him? Oh no. Wait, but what's an atomic wedgie? Where you pull the undergarments elastic band all the way up over the head. That's what my brother used to do. <laughs> and you survived, and you are a survivor. Dude, yeah. This guy, do you think he's like a tall guy where the underwear, like, or he was a short guy. What? Short torso. What? Yeah. What happened? Maybe it. Maybe it asphyxiated him on the other way. Because uh, for kids, a, an atomic wedgie would like work for kids. But if you're a grown adult, how does the underwear even get that far? That's what I'm saying. It's like the real practicality of it is most underwear rips by the upper exactly. back point. Yeah, they're pro proven by his uh, many experimentations. <laughs> so maybe his balls got tucked so far back that it exploded. Or it struck a nerve. Or and that's death? Wow. Dude, you die from atomic wedgie, bro. What's going on? Or did it go <laughs> all the way and then it went here and, it, and then it suffocated him? Bro, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking too. Did he have a heart attack from the embarrassment? <laughs> <laughs> also, I have a hard time seeing that like if underwear is that flexible to get this far, it's probably thin wow. enough that you can breathe right. through it. Mm. Or flexible enough that you could just pull it. Oh. Right, it would just be like wearing a Batman mask. Or it's so strong that once it got here, his spine went like that. <laughs> and it just... That's... Yeah, that's... What if it was silk? Yeah. Or it was probably a G-string, and that's why yeah, it goes all the way around. And then it... Because oh, I would know. Is that why? Is that why you don't recommend receiving a wedgie today? That's the reason why. <laughs>
Dude, you guys were about to kill Nick, man. Just I just you fucking trying to give me a wedgie, dude. Another alternative, when Nick goes over him, he's like, oh, whoa, whoa. Falls off. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's not oh, even oh, the wedgie. Oh, All the way out the front door? Whoa. Yeah. Or, uh, and then a snake comes and it <laughs> bites the ball. <laughs> Said <laughs> the death by snake. That's death by wedgie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so are we close? Very close, but before we, you know, get the final reveal, the, a cobra didn't bite his dick. Let me let me continue to yeah. The yeah, give us more detail. Also. Yeah, because cobras cobras cobra wait for situations like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> this particular incident led to two things. Number one, a first degree murder charge for Davis. Yeah. And number first two, degree premeditated. A study by the National Institute of Health, their first ever study on wedgies to figure out how the hell this was. Slow news day over there, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. So that happened. Davis told the police he never intended to kill his stepfather. Okay, the man was just trying to embarrass him, and an atomic wedgie was just the most embarrassing. Yeah, who thing intends yeah. to like? You guys were trying to give me way. one. A first degree okay. fence. Should be second, no? Authorities at the time said the two men were spending the night in Denver, uh, in Denver's, not Denver, Colorado, but like the guy's name is Denver, at, in his trailer while Davis's mother was recovering from hip surgery at the local hospital. Because he gave her a wedgie and fucked her up. No, that was the snake. Um, <laughs> the two men intended to go visit her early the next morning, but they stayed up late talking, and then eventually St. Clair began insulting Davis's mother. Yo, mama jokes? That's good. The Marine Corps veteran. Oh, mama's hip is so father. broken. <laughs> <laughs> and we interrupt this video to get the best Yo Mama jokes. Yo Mama got so many cobra bites. <laughs> and we're back. So, the Marine Corps veteran told his stepfather that he was a bully and things turned physical according to reports. Davis said his stepfather got up and tried to punch him, but the trained Marine easily overcame his stepfather's attack, leaving the older man on the floor. That's when Davis decided to add insult to injury. With a wedgie. But it was okay, the sock that got now. him, not I the wedgie. Now. So that's apparently the, the so more the, practical speculation. So did the paramedics show up with the underwear over his head? <laughs> well, while St. Clair was still on the ground, Davis pulled up the old man's underwear, a traditional wedgie. He then went the extra mile, pulling the elastic band of the underwear, uh, underwear over the man's head. He then took a photo of this incident. Somehow, however, the band made its way around St. Clair's neck, cutting off his air supply and effectively <gasps> strangling him. Oh, damn, it's... The G-string theory is correct. When police arrived at the scene, St. Clair was dead and Davis was taken into custody. The prosecution believed that things were more than they seemed, believing some of St. Clair's wounds before the wedgie would have killed him anyway. Oh, damn, that's a... Holy shit, so that's a big detail. they Davis with first degree murder and the media labeled him the atomic wedgie killer. He would have been dead anyway? Cause it was so far up his ass. Do you think he... <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's no, what it was. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he did the wedgie as an alibi? He's like, oh, they'll say that it was an accidental death. I already killed this motherfucker. <laughs> he wedgied himself? If he's beat worse so he enough that him. he would die without the wedgie? So he got beat up Ooh. from... Well, he died he from getting beat out. up. He died from getting counterpunched, basically. Yeah. That's what the prosecutors are, are basically saying. They, they, they went on to allege that Davis doctored the crime scene before investigators arrived, making it look like the wedgie killed him, and the two had come to blows during a family argument. Who, who dies? Davis this wanted to plead not guilty because he was acting in self-defense, but the evidence against him was too strong. This guy, this guy did the world's first friendship fatality. <laughs> <laughs> they were definitely friends, huh? In the end, Davis pled guilty for a lesser charge, first-degree manslaughter, which carried a four-year prison sentence. But the judge presiding over his sentence believed he'd acted with much more malice than four years would warrant, and threw the book at him. 2015, Davis was sentenced to 30 years. Damn. That judge got wedgie. That's yeah, dude. <laughs> he, that was a soft dude. Song. Was like, I have gotten the atomic wedgie before, and it didn't kill me. So I He's know. A survivor. I know that you're a murderer. He's a survivor. Like you, dude. I survived. <laughs> hey. Another, what's another one? What's the other one when you get a wedgie and then your legs get hog tied to the back and then they tie the underwear what the to the back? Uh, have you done, have you heard of that one? That sounds like the atomic wedgie. That's the Corpus Christi, yeah. <laughs> Corpus Christi. That was a pretty rough thing. That's a great thing. Are you a survivor of that as well? Yeah. I haven't gotten wedgie like that, but I've gotten pants before. <laughs> That's different. Why you just laugh at him, dude? 
Cause, uh, cause I, it reminded me of the story where his dad, yeah. where his brother pantsed his dad at a funeral. <laughs> what? That was you? No, I that didn't your, do that it. That was your parents? That was his no, family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that story? David, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Tell, tell David, the story. David told me and Joe the story on a podcast, and we were laughing for like 15 minutes straight, bro. You want me to retell it? Retell yeah. it, please. Yeah, because I've never heard okay, it either. So my grandma passed away. Rest in peace, grandma. Rest on my peace. dad's side, and she lives in Vietnam or lived in Vietnam. And so there was a funeral over there. And so they do it like really different. They have like a whole week or something like that where, you know, you're just uh, spending time with the thing. But so it and was so at the like end. It stands outside for like three yes. days and doesn't eat and shit like that. So, right? so yeah, so like people have been grieving and like celebrating her death for like the whole week. It's the, it's the last day. And the last thing they did was like go to her room where she used to stay and like do some prayer with like incense and stuff. And there's like a viewing room. And, and, um, Everybody's just dressed in normal clothing, but my dad and I think a few of uh, my uncles were wearing these white garments over that. All white. Yeah. And so at the end of it, it was over and my dad starts taking it off. And then like everybody's still in the room and my brother goes up to my dad and pulls his pants down. <laughs> And, and my me and my mom look at each other and we're like, no, like you know how you're like you're not supposed to laugh at a funeral, but like I had to like walk out of the room. I was like, oh my god, dude, uh, he's like in his twenties at the time. <laughs> like he was fully grown. This was only in like 20, uh, 2012. Is this his thing that he does? Why? No, he Is was this just his thing. I I don't know what caused him to just go up to my dad in front of everybody and just go like this. And pants his ass. And everybody was just like I mean, quiet except for me and my mom. We were like, what the fuck? Listen, people deal with grief differently. For real. What did your brother say right after that? He was just smiling. He was like, huh? what did your dad do right after that? He ignored it because he. He was just like sad. That's even funnier. It's, it's, he just pats around crying. his ankles. Yeah, he did, but he wasn't crying at that moment. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> his mom just died. He's grieving and he's like pats around his ankles. Yeah. His own mom just died and he's getting yeah. pants at the feet. Yeah. <laughs> by, his, by his 20 something year old son. Who's a fucking kid or something. Yeah, dude. But it wasn't like all his whole pants. It was just like the pants outside the pants. So it still looked like it though. <laughs> so it was just a white garment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still like a funeral clothing, you know? And he just. No, went. no, don't ruin the story. Yeah. In my head, yeah. the whole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was what was funnier.